My name is Josh Salinger. We're here at the International Builders Show, and I'm here with Karen, and we're at the SPAN booth. And uh, again, I'm really excited about this one because I think there is a huge future for this type of thing. So what this is, is it's your uh, electrical panel, but it is doing a lot more than just your traditional electrical panel. So really great implications for uh, you know, battery, solar uh, integration with those things, and real-time uh, you know, feedback with uh, the app that they have here. So with Karen, if you can kind of just kind of show us through uh, everything that the thing is capable of, we'd love to hear about it. it it's a capable of a lot. So it's, yeah. you're right, Josh, it starts as a standard electrical panel. You replace the old gray box you would have put in your homes before. With a nice looking thing. It's gorgeous, right? Yeah. Um, makes your garage or your basement or your outside even better. It's wires with standard breakers, so we're breaker agnostic. You choose any local breaker that you can get. Which is what I'm seeing. We got like Square D here. We got Eaton. We've got you know all these different things that you can kind of just plug and play. Absolutely. We yeah. know it's been a challenge with supply chain, so we wanted to ensure that our installers uh, and you as builders could get what you needed for the project. Yeah, I know that I've had to search long and hard to get the very specific. It's not an easy hand. look, yeah. right? Um, and then behind this breaker level is a technology and there's a processor in our panel that's as smart as the processor in your iPhone. So we're really the nervous system um, to your whole home. All of your energy comes through here and because we are both a load center and energy management system, we're now able to help you manage everything you need in your home. Sure, so I know that one of the things that integrates with this besides the battery and the solar that we talked about is the electric car charger. Totally. And we know that electric cars will take a really big draw from, from your home. And so one of the things, if I understand correctly, is that this actually can prioritize the load. So it knows when you can charge your car without draining your battery or affecting even the, the rates that you might be getting billed from the utility. So. Absolutely, so usually homeowners, their largest asset is their home. The second largest asset is this new electric vehicle that they've just brought. Uh, and they wanna ensure that they work seamlessly together. One of the challenges for homeowners is they often don't have the capacity in their panel to do a full level two EV charger. With SPAN, all of that changes. So you're able to install level two plus EV charging, and what we do is dynamic charging. For example, if you had induction cooktop, you come home from work, you turn on, you're making dinner, you plug in your car, you don't have the capacity, we'll lower your car's amperage draw to four amps while you're cooking dinner. When you're done and you turn off your induction cooktop, we'll increase the amperage to your car so it's fully dynamic and utilizing the, the energy available in your home at all times. That is so smart. And also in a retrofit situation, I imagine that, you know, as opposed to having to upgrade your entire service, yeah. you could install this because you're able to kind of like jockey those loads around. That's exactly it, Josh. Yeah, so a really great for retrofits too. And for new construction, because you can integrate this with your solar, you can see in real time what kind of solar production you're getting. Yes. And I know that like people, behavior plays a big part in how people you know, conserve energy. Yeah. And so if they can see like, oh gosh, my kid's always leaving the lights on or, the, or my uh, appliance is suddenly for some reason using way more energy, like what's happening here? We'll give them all the data they need to make the right choices in their homes. Uh, it's all done through a beautiful consumer app, homeowner app. You can see production and storage of where you're at. You can see consumption and usage in your home by circuit, what's happening. Uh, you'll also be able to see any of your battery life. So if you want to change how you're consuming battery, you'll have the ability to drag and drop circuits easily through a choice here. You can also choose how you want to charge your car. Do you want to use excess solar? Do you want to charge when the rates are the cheapest? Do you want to charge during an outage? Spain gives you all of that flexibility. Right, you could do it in the middle of the day when the sun is shining, and when everyone gets home from work at five o'clock and everyone turns on their you know, stoves and their heating and all this stuff after yes. being gone all day, you could actually, because oftentimes the utilities will give you cheaper rates if you're not using it at those peak times. They sure do. And with electrification writ large, this is a problem because everyone's going to be coming home and it's this duck curve where everyone's starting to use all their energy. But if we could have a smart system like this that is actually paying attention to what's happening, we can really flatten that and that makes a huge impact kind of in the industry as we're moving more towards electrification. So it's gonna play a really important part 
as we're starting to electrify homes and cars and all this stuff, that's not going to tax the grid as much. So it's really paying a, a bigger role there too. You've got it. Span is really focused on the uh, energy in your home and how do we make sure that you're capitalizing on all the benefits where they exist, either time of use or jockeying your energy between one uh, device or the other. Uh, and so SPAN's really focused on ensuring that that exists for your homeowner in, in a really unique way yeah. with beautiful interfaces. And one last thing that I think is really cool about this too is uh, resiliency. So, you know, I know I'm from the Pacific Northwest and we had a heat dome a couple of years back where it was 116 degrees yes. and the power was going out. This happened also in Texas in 2021, I think it was, where it, they had the, the freeze I, will, over. I was there and, and part of it and it was cold. <laughs> yeah, so if you had this, you could actually say, hey, I'm gonna, let's say it's a heat dome and uh, grandma's at home and it's 116 degrees outside. This becomes a survivability resiliency thing yes. where you could turn off all of the unnecessary loads in the garage or the, the kid's bedroom, the guest bedroom, and you could prioritize your cooling system and the solar that's happening Absolutely. so that it stays cool and survivable in that house. You got it. You can't do that with just a gray old electrical panel. So it, it's really important from that resiliency perspective. 100%, we wanna ensure that you have control over your home and your home works for you. Uh, and doing that simply by touching a button and changing the priorities in my home is simple and easy and it, and it made Snowmageddon, as we like to call it, survivable. Yeah, well, what a great product. I mean, on top of it all, it's good looking and you know, it's got so much like, you know, flexibility for using different you know, breakers and all yeah. this stuff. I'm really impressed with it and I think this is really gonna be the future of what we're seeing in electrification at home. So thank you so much for we showing us around. We look forward to working with you, Josh. All right, cheers. Cheers.